a, your team, or maybe any team, can get used to playing at a certain level and a certain competition, and then like, when you play a team like Tulsa, where they step it up, that you're kind of a little bit taken aback by, do you think that might have happened to you the first game? Well, I think what happened the first game was really defensively we, we played well and then there was too many three and outs and too many times on the field. That's what I thought as far as you can't give them that many opportunities. And offensively, they, I thought their defense played faster than their offense was blocking them. That's really what took place in that game. I thought special teams, we, we basically did some good things. So, you know, I, I, you, know you, you head to the second time and it's amazing that Normally, if you play another opponent, it's not a week away, All right? This, that's the end. There's a lot of retention in what both teams saw and did, so it, it should be an interesting game. But I, I, I do think the key is your practice. You gotta, you gotta basically have your show teams come a lot faster pace, and uh, then, uh, and again, we practice that way, and we've picked up the pace this week as far as the show team and running plays. Yeah, it's not often you get to play a team twice, let alone in three weeks. How helpful is it that you can throw on tape from a game two weeks ago and say, now, this is what they did against you here, and not necessarily what they did well, against I think for the coaches, it's, you know, whether it's the first game or the ninth game, tenth game, it really doesn't matter. But for the players, uh, I think they, you got to remind them each week what day it is. So uh, I, I think it's important that, you know, that from a retention standpoint, the smart kids are going to remember things, the kids that, aren't as gifted. It's like it's a new team. You know, you start all over again. But uh, I think uh, we have enough smart guys that have been around, that play enough games that uh, I think understand what we didn't do right and what we need to do right. Coach, no, no teams have um, been to Conference State Championship more than you in Tulsa. You guys have been kind of stalwarts there. Um, it's kind of fitting that with the, the conference shakeup coming on, and these teams, these teams are meeting one more time to kind of decide the conference. Well, I'm, I, I told him when I saw him after the game, I'll, I'll see you in two weeks. And I didn't mean that to be on video. The guy was, I guess he must have been hiding behind me. <laughs> but, but he got it, and uh, I'm not going to backtrack. I, I told him we'd see him in two weeks, and we will. We'll see him this Saturday, and uh, hopefully that, that we can do the things right that we need to do. George, what's the tenor been like? Because well, losing, losing can be a great motivating factor. Yeah, it is. You know, we're looking forward. To, uh, the kids were annoyed after the game when we were there, and they the same thing. I didn't say anything. And we, they, I said, we got an opportunity to be back here, fellas. That's what I told them. And I said, we got, we got some work to do before that, but we have an opportunity to get back here. And when we do, we better bring a different football team than I just saw out there, especially offensively. So they understand that. And this is a week, Pat, where, you know, if you have to say a lot to get them ready to play, you got problems. You got problems. Why? They, I mean, they have an opportunity to reach the only goal that they set for themselves is the conference championship, and they have a chance to reach that. And you know, that's all it needs to be really said. If their goal meant something when they made it, that's how I look at. How important is this conference championship to the program? I think it's important. It's another game. It's another championship. That's the goal. And I, I think we're leaving the conference, and uh, it's, it'd be a good way to say goodbye. You know, and I've liked Conference USA. They've treated us very well, and I, I've appreciated what they've done for our program and to get us, you know, started. And uh, but you know, uh, I think like everybody else, you know, you, you got to go where you can afford things and help the programs out from a stream of revenue. So, but uh, again, it, it's important because you only get to play for a certain amount of championships, especially if you're a college player. You know, uh, and. Uh, you know, those are the games you remember. You don't remember the games, some other games, but you do remember the championship games because that, that's where the good players play well and, and, the, and the guys who win the game, your average players play good. That's, that's how you win championships. You know now where you're going to go if you win and lose. That was announced yesterday. Does that, you know, mentally for you guys change anything or, you know, is the goal just set on the lip? No, I, I just want to get to Memphis. I mean, that's all. That's the only thing we talk about as a football team is getting to Memphis. And we've never really discussed anything else. Someone made a remark that, that Coach O'Leary wanted to go to Hawaii. Coach O'Leary couldn't care less we would go. I'm going to care a place I want to go to is Memphis. All right, I usually leave it up to the team. They're the ones that earned the trip, the bowl trip. If there was a decision we made, I usually leave that to the team. You know, where would you like to go? But 
you know, I'm happy with what worked out there. You know, I, I don't like rumors spread and coach said this, coach. Coach didn't say anything except I want to play the best competition we could play in a bowl game, which is what I think it's all about. But I'm happy. I, I think if, you know, we get to Memphis, I think there'll be good competition. We get to St. Pete, there'll be good competition. And uh, obviously it's a bowl game, and I think uh, – you know, one game's uh, New Year's Eve, which is great for national recognition. The other one's, you know, an early game. And, and really, if you're not going to play a New Year's Day or New Year's Eve bowl game, you might as well play early. The kids get home for Christmas, and there's a lot of benefits to that. Plus, it's a great spot for the kids. And as long, I don't mind as long as you go to, like, Memphis is, uh, I think, uh, treated us very well. But you like to get to warm, warm weather areas if you're going to a bowl. Like out here would be a great bowl facility. I really do. I believe that.